Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs, and today I want to share with you a new feature in the Cricut Design Space app for iOS devices. Uh, some of you are using your the, the app specifically for working with your Cricut machine, so you'll be glad to know that this new feature for project sharing which we have in the desktop version is now available in the ios version now it is not added to the android app yet that'll be coming at a later date so stay tuned for that news but let me show you why this is such a cool feature first of all when you open up the app now you're going to see these make it now projects when you look under categories under all categories you'll see the make it now projects these are projects that were designed by different people in uh, that Cricut hired to to make projects to share with us and you're going to notice that some of these have I've got little orange stars on here well how did I do that these are projects that I saw that I want to make that I think are really cool and so this is another one that I really liked and all I have to do on the bottom of that tile you're going to see where it says share and you're going to see where there's a little blank star if you tap on that star it will change to that orange color and now that means that it has saved in your favorites okay so if you come back over here to the left hand corner of your screen under where it says categories tap on that the drop down opens up and you're going to see a new category here that call it's my favorites when you tap on my favorites now you're going to see that project has been added to your own folder more or less and these are projects that frankly you know you're flipping through you're looking through and you see projects you're like oh i want to go back and make that i want to make that but you know if you don't mark it somehow you may not go back and find it and make it later so this is a great new feature i love this thank you cricket um, and then the other thing you'll see on here it says share so if you tap the share it's going to pop that up and guess what now you can share that project on facebook in the desktop version, we can share it on Facebook and Pinterest, but on the iOS version, you can only share it on Facebook for right now. But let's see how that works. So I'm just gonna tap the Facebook app and I can come in here and I can tell it to post somewhere. So I'm gonna tap on that. I'm gonna go into groups and I'm gonna say, I wanna share that in my Cricut Maker group because it'd be a great project for that group. I'm gonna say done. It's gonna pop up here. I can type something in. And you can type whatever you want. I'm just typing that in. Okay, so now I've got, now I put in here what I wanted it to say. And then I'm going to hit post up here in the right hand corner. And now it's going to come up and it say, ta-da, it's posted. So you can post it on your own timeline. You can post it in different Facebook groups if it's allowed by that group. So be respectful of those rules. And um, so that's how you do that if it's a Make It Now project and you want to, one, save it as a favorite, or two, you want to share it out to your friends on Facebook. Now, let's look at something else. Not only does Cricut have all these great projects but they have a Cricut community so if you go back into the categories up here in the left hand corner and you tap that again it's going to open up that drop down look underneath where it says all categories there is a Cricut community category and I'm going to tap on that and now you have project inspiration from all kinds of other crafters just like you who are now sharing their own projects isn't that awesome? It's so cool. So um, I really liked this uh, Starfish and Fish Forever one. So I'm going to tap on the little star. And guess what? It's going to have added it to my favorite screen. Yay! So I can go back, maybe use that for inspiration, or make the project myself later. Isn't that cool? Now, let's say you have a project that you would love to share with other people because you're so happy with it you think it's a great inspiration piece you can go into any of your projects that you have saved in the cloud 
okay? Not just on your iPad. They need to be projects that are in your My Projects in the iCloud folder under here under category. So I'm going to click on that. All of the projects you've saved that are in the cloud are now, you know, here. If you scroll through, you'll see a whole bunch of projects. These are things I've made. And you can pick the one that you want to use. And I'm going to say share this reverse canvas HTV frame. So I'm going to say share. And then it's going to pop up with this screen. It says new. Share your projects on Facebook. It's never been easier. Simply add a photo, title, or description. And then it says get started. The, the default screen pops up and it says uh, here it says you don't have to show this message again. You could check that box and it won't keep always coming up with this. But for right now we're just going to say get started. And now it is going to create my own make it now file, sort of. Think of it that way. <laughs> and um, so it's got my image in design space. And then I can add photos. Now Cricut wants you to add at least one photo. And so you just tap that little box with the plus, go into your camera roll, find the photograph of your finished project not just the picture of the design space screen but the actual picture of your finished project and then you can use two fingers and kind of uh, shrink it down till it gets to where it looks good on the screen i think that looks nice so i'm going to leave mine like that and then i'm going to add a few more photos because it's great to have more detail so i'm going to tap the next box over i'm going to go back into my camera roll and Let's see, I want to let them know I use my Easy Press, and then the next one, I'm going to let them know that uh, some of the supplies that I made, and I'm going to add even a fourth picture, and I'm going to let them know what the back of that canvas looks like. Okay, so I've got some pictures in here now, and but I don't like the order that those pictures are in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap on that photo and then be able to drag it over so it changes the orientation of those of what they look like okay so i've got four pictures in there i'm happy with that now i want a title so reverse canvas htv frame that's what i save that file as i like that name for this because it lets people know what it is that they're looking at uh, but i could also put you know add something else there so think about making sure your title makes sense to other people that are going to be looking at your project for inspiration and then in the description please make sure that you fill in some information so i'm going to put great gift idea for baby shower because that's what I made this one for and then I'm going to put uh, supplies used everybody always wants to know what did you make that with what was that and then I'm going to list some supplies so it is a five by seven canvas five by seven blank canvas <laughs> blank canvas and um, let's see I use Cricut iron-on so I want to add the materials that I used black I use black chalk paint and Cricut Easy Press. Okay, and then I can even come in here and I can say a uh, tip. Uh, don't forget <laughs> to mirror your iron on <laughs> before you cut okay so I've got this finished now let's say you'll notice here on the screen it says visible to others and then the little toggle is on green okay let's say that I have thought oh gosh you know what I want to take one more picture of this particular project maybe I want it from a different angle or I just want to add a little more detail, I can 
tap on that toggle switch and it'll turn it off so it won't save out to the community just yet and then I can go back into this screen and add that photo again and then I can go into visible to others and tap on that and then it would be shareable again okay now you can only uh, share projects that would be cuttable for somebody if they use Cricut Design Space uh, images, okay? You can still share an image that was uploaded, but those people can see the project, but they're not gonna be able to actually cut and use the project, right? Because they're licensed images or they've been uploaded uh, and people wouldn't have access to that. But if it's a Cricut Design Space, they'll be able to do that. If it's something that they don't have, um, they don't own in design space either through the Cricut Access subscription or they own that cartridge that the image is on, they can also be prompted just to pay for that particular image. So that's really cool. All right, so once I've got this exactly the way I wanted it, then I can say save and it'll take just a second. The more photos you add, a little bit longer it takes for it to go out there. <laughs> it's such a great way to get in extra inspiration all right, so now it's saved into the Cricut community and I it is also giving me the option if I want to save this in a Facebook group. Okay, so I've already shown you guys how to do that. It works the same way. So I'm just going to click done. When you go to look for your project, you will see now that it has made it shareable. When you This is my project here. Okay, it's created its own little um, make it now project isn't that cool that you can do that yourself and then I can scroll over and I can see all the pictures that I added okay very cool and the little description I put in and then it picks up whichever image that was used in the project that's a Cricut project okay so very nice now it will take a few minutes for this to show up in the Cricut community um, and you know, you can go over later and check the community. Let me tap on that. And it'll, it'll take a few minutes for it to show up. Now, this is one where I uploaded this earlier. And so you can see it here kind of on the second row in the middle. Uh, just to give you an idea that that's, it will show up in the app. Okay. Um, so this is lots of fun. I hope you guys enjoy using this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it or what you think about it. Leave me a comment. Uh, Cricut also has made some great tip sheets for us on how to use this. So if you want to print those out, they're in the Cricut help uh, community and I will uh, add links to the description on this video so you get to see those and can go out there and grab them. I hope you guys like this. Uh, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got other videos coming out real soon and uh, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that and also make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as I add new videos. Come join us in the Let's Learn Cricket Explore Facebook group or over in my Cricut Maker with Debbie O'Neill group.